Hey everybody, it's Sam. Today we're gonna to do some soft tissue work today. So for today, if you have a foam roller, that's great. These things can also be done with like a lacrosse ball or something that's hard. And we're gonna target three areas. We're gonna target our glutes, our TFL, and then our VMO. So with the first one we're targeting our glute, you wanna think about the spot right where your back pocket would be. So when I'm approaching the foam roller or a ball, I wanna try and get right where my back pocket would be. I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I'm gonna cross my right ankle over my left knee. I'm just gonna put my left hand over my right ankle and then I'm gonna to lean to my right side. So I'm just focusing only on my right side, that right glute. Now from here, I'm just gonna slowly roll back and forward. When we're doing this, we wanna think we're going nice and slow. They're thinking about maybe an inch per second. We're putting a little bit of pressure into the ground, into this foam roller, into your lacrosse ball. If you find a little hot spot that you think, oh man, that really hurts, try to just sit on it and try to let your muscles melt over it. Once we're done for about 30 seconds, we can switch sides. So again, now I got my left leg crossing it over, lean into my left. And again, we're just going nice and slow, roll it back. And roll it back forward. Again, you might find out that your right side hurts a little more than your left, and you can spend a little bit more time on it. 30 seconds is just um, a suggestion. If you need more time, that's totally fine. You can take more time. Now, the next one is gonna be our TFL. So with this, your TFL is kind of like where your hip bone is to kind of like the outside of the hip, or like your hip bone to the outside of your leg bone. So from here, we're gonna go down at an angle. I'm not going straight on, I'm kind of rotating at an angle. And I'm just going nice and slow over the top and back. Now with this one, you're only covering a distance probably about maybe six inches, but we're going more on the side. Again, we're going that one inch per second, just nice and slow. If you find a hot spot that kind of hurts, just try to relax over it, have your muscles just try to relax over it. And you can switch sides. Again, it might be similar when we're doing the glutes where you might have your one side be a little bit tighter than the other. And again, you can spend more time on it, that's fine. All right, so with this last one, we're going our VMO, so that's kind of inside of the quad. So you're gonna take that foam roller and it's gonna be perpendicular or parallel to where your body's gonna be. It's gonna be up to the side. I'm gonna put my right leg on top of it. I'm gonna try and stay in a good posture. I'm not really sinking down. So I'm kind of pressing my body away from the ground a little bit. And then I'm just gonna slowly roll out and back in. Slowly roll out and back in. Now again, put pressing into that foam roller a little bit. Now from here, another trick that you can do is you can kind of just rotate. So I'm just stopping right here. I'm gonna rotate my heel up and back down. Rotate it up and back down. You might find out when you do one of those that you're gonna feel a little, maybe you might feel a little pain, but that's okay because we're trying to break up that fashion in there. Then we'll switch to the other side. And same thing, pressing away, good posture here. Slowly rolling out and back in. Same concept, we're going about an inch per second. In. You can find that spot, rotate that ink or that heel up to the ceiling and back down. All right. So those are three muscles that are typically pretty tight on people. Uh, you can do that one either before you work out, two after a workout, or any time during the day if you just want to just try and have your muscles relax and loosen up. Hope you guys enjoyed it.